What's going on guys, Uzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, we have a 90 overall, excuse my pronunciation, I think it's Rojas? If that's incorrect, let me know in the comments, obviously. This card is 216k and he looks outrageous. 89 pace, 90 dribbling, 85 shooting, 86 passing, 83 physical and 84 defending. He's got 83 plus on his card. That is outrageous. Six foot one. He has that big reach to him to intercept the ball. High medium. Not the perfect centre mid uh, work rate, but at the same time, high medium, it's not the end of the world. Left footed, full star skill moves, which means he's going to be able to do the Berber and the standing scoop turn. But I don't do much skill moves with my midfield anyway, so that's not obviously not going to matter. The three star weak foot is though, hopefully it's not one of those ones where it will affect the pass a lot. Hopefully it will actually act like, you know, he's got two preferred foots, if you know what I mean. Now, he is on an anchor chem style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 90 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. If this guy is that fast in the midfield, oh, we have a problem. 82 attacking positioning, 82 finishing, 92 shot power. Now, finishing is not amazing, but if it does bounce to him inside the box, that shot power will carry that shot straight into the back of the net. Now, the 90 long shots with the 92 shot power, I tell you what, long shots don't go really in, go in this year, but at the same time, if it comes down to it, I'll bang one, why not? And the 71 volley, 71 penalties, 84 vision, 78 crossing, 95 free kick accuracy, 89 short passing, 83 long passing, and 96 curve. This guy is such a box-to-box -box midfielder, it is ridiculous. But at the same time, you can even play this guy at cam if you really want to. His passing is outrageous. The little one-twos, the link-up play will be very nice. And the over-the-top through balls is what I'm expecting of this guy. 86 agility, meaning he probably feel nice in the ball. 74 balance is not crazy good, though. 83 reactions, 91 ball control, 92 dribbling, and 88 composure. I'm feeling he's going to be one of those karma collective on the ball. You're one of those where you're going to obviously tackle with him and then he's just going to get the ball. You're going to be very calm with it. Just pass it away. I doubt you're going to go on any dribbles with this guy. 97 interceptions. Six foot one. He will be intercepting the ball left, right and center. Eight, sorry, 90 defensive awareness when he's going to be at the right place at the right time. 92 standing tackle, 87 slider tackle. I tell you what, if that standing tackle isn't enough, there will be problems. 87 jumping, 95 heading accuracy. He will probably out header, I would say, 6 foot 2 and below. I wouldn't go any higher than that. 93 stamina means up and down the pitch shouldn't be a problem throughout the whole 90 minutes. 85 strength though is outrageously good he's going to be bodying players left right and center 85 aggressions just going to make him faster and pretty much win more 50 50s now i have linked him up today with his teammate solari i think it's called and zambrotta i've also got like the van dyke suzoko and gabriel on the team i will be using him in a 4-4-2 formation and playing him in that center mid role but I do want to try this guy out at Cam or even CDM as well. This guy can literally play anywhere in the midfield. So I will be trying him in a 4 2 3 1 as well, playing him in Cam and CDM. But let's get straight into these games. Oh my god, he feels super fast in the midfield. Now, the one thing we always do when testing our player is just see how comfortable he feels on the ball. And he looks very, very nice. And that switch of play, I can already tell we're in for a treat. Nice, that's a really good strong tackle. And then he wins it again, follow throughing and obviously winning the ball back again. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at him fighting for the ball. That's the aggression I wanted from my centre mid. Nice, good tackle. Fighting for the ball once again. Very unfortunate not to come out with it. He sees the run. Can you do the through ball? Oh my god. If a Kone was a tiny bit faster, that is a ball and a half. Now he is six foot one. He has got really good jumping. Let's why not give this guy a go near post? It is gonna be green. Mm, and I understand it's going away from goal, but at the same time, I wanted a bit more power into that header. And it's with Socrates. 
Look at that, showing that full aggression coming to play, that pace obviously coming into play as well, and it's an unbelievable tackle, and look at that, a 180 pass across the whole pitch, and he somehow, some way, still makes it work. He's on the edge, to be fair to him. Little turn would have been nice. Go for the finesse. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It looked like a pretty decent finesse, but hmm, Virgil getting in the way of everything, as per usual. He feels super, super nice for the on the ball. And he feels like better than Suzoko. And I love how Suzoko feels on the ball. But I tell you what, this guy, <laughs> this guy's going to be causing problems in weekend league. Look at that. That little fake dummy. Then a very sharp turn. Another ball roll. Heel to heel. Look how comfortable this guy feels on the ball. I did obviously do a mistake there. I should have just walked forward. I accidentally slipped off the analog stick, which... I think that's the first. Nice. Good standing tackle. Very unfortunate not to come out with the ball there, though. Look at that pace. I want you to go back and watch that once again. Look where he came from to go and it hit that tackle. That is so, so crazy. He switched the ball with any foot. It's so effective as well. And that is ridiculous. A really good ball. I'm telling you, this guy can pass with either foot, and it is ridiculous. Oh my god. We talk about a finish. Exactly what Neymar's just done. So I'm currently playing Rodgers in a camp position right now, and I'm telling you, the guy is a god. Look at that. Switching the ball from one side of the pitch completely to the other, giving it to Adama Traore so he can just run onto it. Nice. See how we lost the ball there and he's just straight onto it. That is also a benefit of having a six foot one kind of cam. You're always going to get the ability. You're always going to get the ability to allow that interception high up the pitch and go for an instant counter attack. Now we have got a free kick here. Rojas, step up to the plate. 95 free kick accuracy. Let's see what happens. I need to put my aiming. Uh, my aiming's a bit. Uh, my aiming's not the greatest here. It is yellow, it is over the wall, and it's just not good enough for me. I need to do better there. He feels so calm and composed on the ball. You can literally do everything with him, man. Like, he just shielded off a player there, then completely did a beautiful switch. And you can tell it's a beautiful switch. When there's curve on it, there's dip, there's power, there was literally everything to do there. There you go, just like that. Exactly what I love. Taking the ball, but not just taking the ball, taking play the play at the same time. So he has no time to get up and get the ball. Perfect. One thing I am loving about him, though, is that he's able to switch the ball with both feet so perfectly, with so much power and accuracy. And it's just something you don't see every day on any centre mid. Quick turn. Neymar shot. Easy goal. Just like that. Oh, okay. So I overran the first interception. And then, you know, his recovery is ridiculous. The man of, the man of pace he has, just like that, he goes from point A to point B in literally a split second. And that is something you want in your centre mid. Well, just is coming up, though. We have got a chance. Quick turn, beautiful shot into the far corner, just like that. In the, he's playing in a centre mid role right now, and I haven't actually got him on stay back while attacking, because I do want him to go up, because he can, he's able to shoot. So if he's able to shoot and do stuff like this, why not put him in that cam position? Nice, just waiting for the perfect moment there to simply intercept that ball. And as I said, he's aggress how much aggression he has is ridiculous. Look at that, tracking every single piece of movement he does. So simple because Rojas is so fast. He's not going to get turned by Rooney and I think everyone knows that. Look at that, man. Look how fast. The guy has no time to think. It's simple as that. He's going to get the ball no matter what. I see a little through ball. Look at that, man. You don't get a better pass. You don't. It's simple. You don't get a better pass than that. I saw the gap on the mini-map, 
and Rojas can pick it out like there is no tomorrow. A beautiful pass to Gabriel and it's an easy finish. So it is time to review him and let me say, two games, one, one goal, three assists. In a mostly centre mid position, that is outrageous. Rojas, the six foot one centre mid that can play cam, that can play CDM. This guy can play anywhere you want. High medium work rate wasn't that much of an issue if you obviously did put stay back while attacking on him. I did add the start, but then I took it off because I I knew how how good this guy was going forward. So I didn't want to waste him playing in a centre mid role. Now, the four-star skill moves, he, the Burber Spin was my favorite skill move on this guy. He felt super, super nice with it. Three-star weak foot, it doesn't matter. It feels like a four or even a five. That's how good it is. Pace, outrageous. How fast this guy is in the midfield is one of the fastest cards I've ever seen. Uh, Shooting-wise, a really, really nice finish. Passing-wise, unbelievable from one side of the pitch to the other the link up play the little give and goes this guy can even do the little chip through balls if you know what i mean dribbling he feels amazing on the ball but i wouldn't say he's one of those players that you can go on a complete skill run with and you know like messi or neymar with but he on the ball he feels outrageous for a center mid defensive stats this guy doesn't give up he tackles once if he doesn't get the ball he'll go for a second he'll go for a third he'll go for a fourth instantly and that is something I've been waiting for from a centre mid. Interceptions, unbelievable. Six foot one, he's got the reach. Standing, sorry, defensive awareness at the right place at the right time. Standing in front of people, man marking and reading that passing lanes. This guy can even win headers. He's got un un unbelievable stamina. Strength is there. Aggression is out of this world. I would be crazy. Not to give this card a 10 out of 10. 100%. If you guys can afford this card, go get him. The only problem is the links. You're going to have to get a few more of these cards to link this guy up. But trust me, it is going to be worth it. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.